The season to apply for jobs in mathematics in the US is fastly approaching, and graduate students and recent postdocs are getting ready to apply again for other positions in mathematics. So let me try to give some advice. The most important piece of advice is that this is a marathon and not a sprint. There will be jobs posted now, there will be jobs posted during the fall, during the winter, and all through the spring, there might be more jobs being posted. So keep looking at math jobs and keep applying for jobs. By the way, what I'm saying here is an abbreviated version of a very long detailed post that I wrote on my blog on how to apply for academic jobs in math. So I strongly encourage you to go and read this post. In fact, in my blog, you can find another three posts where I documented my three application cycles. The first one being from grad school to my first visiting position job, the second cycle from that visiting position to a postdoc, and then from my postdoc position to my tenure track. There are many important aspects to a successful application cycle, but overall, the theme of all of these aspects is how are you going to market yourself? What is your application going to look like? What are your strengths going to be? And all throughout your graduate school career, or your first job, you should be thinking about your resume and how is every piece of what you've done, how is it going to fit so that your application looks good, it stands out, and people take it seriously. From the research point of view, it's clear that the primary goal is to write the best thesis you can and to publish the best papers you can. But nowadays, for most jobs, there are some institutes where only research matters. But for most jobs at public institutions, we need more of that package, of that application. We need to see that you have great educational experience. So you have to try during your grad school to step outside of research and try to have some teaching experience. We need to see if you're applying for tenure track jobs, that you have colleague potential, that you have done other things at other levels that indicate that you are going to be a nice colleague to work with. So there are many aspects that are important, but I will single one out out of all of this, which is networking. Networking is essential for many reasons in your career. Uh, first and foremost, because people will know who you are. So when you apply for jobs, you can just send an email to you, a couple of people that you might have met in other conferences. You will need letters of recommendation that say how good your research is or how your teaching is. So if you want to concentrate on one thing, network. My last piece of advice is for you to ask for advice to as many mathematicians as possible, uh, because it's very important to get many points of view, ask them how to apply for jobs, ask them where to apply for jobs, what institutions they suggest, ask them who to ask for recommendation letters, for a research letter, for a teaching letter, and most importantly, ask them for advice on your materials. Have many people read all your materials and see if they can give you feedback, if they can give you constructive criticism. And more importantly, the more eyes on your materials, the more people will identify anything that might sound as a red flag. You cannot imagine the gigantic red flags we find sometimes in materials, like in the cover letter or in the teaching statement, things that if somebody would have read those materials, they would have identified that that should not be in the materials. So anyway, good luck and let me know in the comments if you have any other questions.